Welcome to the Milton Public Library's online 3D printer certification course. Today we are going to learn about 3D printing. We will go over how a 3D printer works, how you can submit your own 3D models to be printed at the library, and we'll look at a few different ways you can get your own files to print, whether that be by designing your own or downloading files that others have designed. So what exactly is 3D printing? Here at the Milton Public Library, we have a MakerBot Replicator Plus, which uses a printing method called Fused Deposition Modeling, sometimes known as FDM. This is an additive manufacturing process in which melted plastic is extruded in thin layers, one on top of the other, to form your object. The MakerBot printer uses PLA plastic, which is plant-based and non-toxic. We have 10 colors available at the library and the plastic can easily be sanded smooth or painted. Please do note that our printer can only print in one color at a time. A common file type for 3D models, and the one we use here at the library, is a stereolithography file, otherwise known as an STL. Whether you're designing your own projects or downloading something someone else has created, you just have to make sure that it is an STL file and it should be good to go. Please note that we are unable to accept files over 10 megabytes and everything printed at the library must comply with our code of conduct. When you're ready to print your project here at the library, you will do so using an online submission form. You can find the form on our website by going to using the library and then choosing services. From here, you will select 3D printing. This brings you to a page with some information about the 3D printing process here at the Milton Public Library, and this is also where you will find the form you use to submit your projects. We will need your contact information and the library card number. We will also need information about your project. You will attach the file, choose the color you want it printed in, and then choose the infill density, shells, and layer height. These three settings will determine the quality of your print and how long it will take to print. We will go over these settings in more detail in a few minutes. Once you submit your project, library staff will review your item and let you know how long it will take to print and how much it will cost. You can expect this initial response within five business days. Once you confirm that you agree to pay these charges, library staff will print your item and let you know when it's ready to be picked up. Here at the Milton Public Library, we charge for printing based on the time it takes to print your item. It's $1 to start the printing process, and then 50 cents for every 15 minutes of printing time after that, up to a maximum of six hours of printing time. There are a number of factors that will affect the printing time of your project, including how large it is, as well as the infill density, shells, and the layer height. The first setting we will talk about is the infill density. In order to save time and material, items are not printed as solid objects. Instead, there is a honeycomb structure inside your project to provide strength and support. The higher the percentage you choose, the more material is used and therefore the stronger and more rigid your item will be. Try to keep the final purpose of your project in mind when choosing your infill percentage. If your finished project needs to be very strong, you will want to go for a higher infill percentage. Next, you will choose the number of shells you want. The shells are the outer walls that form the perimeter of your object. The more shells you have, the thicker and stronger that outside wall is going to be. The final setting we're covering, and the most noticeable one when it comes to how your project looks, is the layer height. The surface quality of your 3D print is determined by the height of each layer. The thinner the layer height is, the more layers it will take to build your object, and therefore the smoother it will be. However, thinner layers also mean that it takes more of them to make your project, so it will take longer and therefore cost more. All three of these settings will affect the printing time of your project. 
but where you will see the biggest difference in printing time is with the layer height. There are a few other things to be aware of. When selecting your project, it's important to keep the build volume in mind. This is the maximum physical size that can fit in our printer. The MakerBot Replicator Plus has a build volume of approximately 11 inches by 7 inches by 6 inches. Please be aware that very large items are more likely to warp during the printing process. Everything printed here at the library will be printed with supports and rafts. Rafts are a flat surface that act as a base for your object and that help your object adhere properly to the build plate so that everything prints evenly. Supports are exactly what they sound like. They support any overhanging parts of your object. If we look at this rabbit here, the image on the left is what was actually submitted, but it comes off of the printer looking more like the image on the right. The green parts are what you actually want, while the orange parts are the raft and supports which will, you will remove once your project has finished printing. Here at the library, we use MakerBot Print. This software prepares your STL file for printing. It allows you to try out the different print settings and then run a print preview so that you can get an estimate of how long your item will take to print. If you would like to try this out for yourself, you can download it from the MakerBot website. There are lots of different programs you can use to design your own STL files. Some good free ones to try out are Tinkercad, which is a user-friendly browser-based 3D design and modeling tool based on simple geometric shapes. Sculptress is a free download that allows you to sculpt 3D models. OpenSCAD is another free download. It's script-based and great for making precision models. If you want to try out 3D printing, but don't want to spend the time designing something from scratch, then a great resource to try out is Thingiverse. This is a website dedicated to sharing user-created designs, and you can choose from countless STL files to download for free. You're now ready to submit your own projects to be printed. Thank you for taking the time to learn about 3D printing at the Milton Public Library.